Breaking news. It's happening. Serious panic in Aso Rock as Nigerians pass vote of no confidence in Buhari's government, now trending on social media a campaign that is ongoing as Nigerians begins to send out, you know, sign so that the nations of the world can know that we no longer want this man as the president of the country. Nigerians are beginning to sign it and say, Buhari, it's about time for you to leave. We are tired. Please go. If you've overstayed, you're welcome. In case you don't know, nobody wants you. You are the failed. You are failed. You continue to fail. And you're just failing left, right, and center. And you're you not even you're not even ashamed of yourself. You gallivant about as if you have done something. Since you came in, what have you done? What have you done? Not a single thing. You see, so Nigerians are saying, you know what is about time. Please leave. You we don't have confidence in you. This is what is happening right now. And then um, this has spar up, you know, uh, 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 panic in Aso Rock as they are saying what could happen next. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. This is trending. Uh, let's get all the details. Nigerians pass vote of no confidence in Buhari's government. Trending media campaign has started. Some reporters observed that about 12,000 Nigerians have already tweeted vote of no confidence on Twitter in a global demand at ending Buhari's inefficiency and clueless administration under the kidnapping for ransom, killing and terrorism have grown unchecked. Thousands of Nigerians have started passing a vote of no confidence on President Muhammadu Buhari's administration in a sporadic social media campaign that started on Wednesday. Some reporters observed that about 12,000 have already tweeted vote of no confidence in vote of no confidence on Buhari on Twitter in a global demand that Buhari's administration should come to an end since he's one of those fueling the current evil going on in the country. The campaign was started by the human rights activist Omo Elisho Ware, who called on Nigerians who were tired of the present situation of the country to join in raising their voices to demand for change. Omo Elisho Ware tweeted, If there is anyone still out there who haven't placed a vote of no confidence on Muhammad Buhari's regime, that person or group of persons need help. Buhari must go. Hashtag revolution now. Let's all start by re let's pass a vote of no confidence on hashtag Buhari regime. Here is the tweet. Just write no confidence as you respond and see if we can get 100 response. Buhari must go. For fellow Nigerians, we are passing a vote of no confidence on President Muhammad Buhari over his failure as the president of this country in his office and we have seen again and again he has no clue of what is happening we only need you to retweet it by writing i hereby pass a vote of no confidence on president muhammad buhari buhari must go hashtag what if a million nigerians on twitter pass a vote of no confidence in president muhammad buhari this will be a game changer Let's keep it going. Let the word get out. Let's have it spread out. We have already, we are already tired of this tyrant and this um, nepotic rule, you know, incompetence in these ex generals who do not want to go. Hashtag Buhari must go. The trending social media campaign is coming a day after parents of the adopted students of the Forest College of Education, Forest in a in Kaduna State, protested nation, protested at the National Assembly Abuja. Soware, who also joined the protest, has accused the government of being insensitive to the plight of the parents who have been who has been traumatized as a result of the incident for a while now. Over two months, the children, the students, were in captivity. The activist has lamblasted the Nigerian government for failing 
for failing in its constitutional responsibility in the protection of lives and property and no moral justification to manage the affairs of the country. Showaray has said, the only thing the Department of State Service can tell you is that if you are speaking out at this time, you will come after, they will come after you. But they can't come after kidnappers. They can't come after bandits. They don't go after terrorists, including those in government. They can't go after them because they are very happy with what is happening. This is how they roll. I feel sad for Nigeria. I feel sad for this dear country. I feel sad for the students who are in captivity. I feel sad for the future of this nation if something is not done. And that's why we all must continue to raise up our voices and make sure that this government is out of the way because they are not people who want this country to move forward. It has shown again and again that Buhari has nothing to offer. There is no need for him to occupy the space. Let him go. So this is what is ongoing now. This is the campaign being propagated that Buhari has to go. He has to go. I mean, he has done enough. And uh, it's about time he goes, okay? It's about time. He has done enough. A lot of Nigerians have already, you know, put out their voice out there that um, Buhari has made the country to suffer, in, in, I mean, in ways that you cannot even begin to imagine. The country is under serious, you know, serious turmoil. And um, everybody's asking, where do we go from here? Where exactly do we go from here? So we cannot sit back, fold our arms, and allow this to happen. No way. We can't sit back, fold our arms, and allow this to happen. Every one of us have a responsibility to let our voices to be heard. Your voice and my voice can be heard if only we all stand up together and do not allow this to happen. So this is what is happening now. People are even scared. Children, are, parents are scared of taking their children to school. There is a, a lot going on. Uh, they've seen the, the, the kidnapping business as a very lucrative one. Nigerian government doing nothing. Uh, they don't do anything to protect their people. So why not if not? The government will negotiate with you. By the time you take this money, you go to your country. They go to their country and they, and they change it. And they do, I mean, they, they, are doing, they are doing quite well. So why, why try to change the game? It's already a very lucrative one. Nigerian government are ready to pay. Nigerian government are paying very well. So, I mean, business is booming. It's thriving. Why? Nigerian government has not deemed it fit to ensure that they do anything to change the correct course of what is going on. This is the evil going on. This is what is happening. And everybody, you know, is keeping quiet. And if you speak, the DSS do not go after Gumi. Who knows the, who knows the, uh, the Fulani headsmen? As a matter of fact, one of the parents said that they went to meet Gumi and said, okay, I have 800,000 um, Naira to free my son. Please, this is the money. And Gumi called one of the Fulani boys. That Fulani boys now collect, connected, you know, that parents to the bandits. So people know who they are. They know where the students are kept. They know. And uh, because of religious sentiment, religious sentiment, they will not speak. Uh, Buhari, because if he talks, they will say it's against the North or it's against Islam. And that's why he will not speak. So leave us a comment. Let's hear from you. Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.